Welcome. If you didn't see episode one about setting your climbing line, go watch it. This tutorial is fast, so pay attention. Let's do this. First, you need to choose a rope. Do not buy a dynamic rope because they're made for absorbing falls for rock climbing. Instead, buy a static rope because they're made for efficient rope ascension. Next, you have to choose your rope size. Since you'll be carrying it long distances with all of your other tree camping gear, I recommend 10 millimeters because it's the perfect blend of light weight and durability. There are many types of rope ascension systems, but I prefer the rad setup. It's light, it's easy on and off, and it's really hard to screw up when you're getting out of bed in the middle of the night half awake. The only problem with it is that it's slow on really long ascents, but I think that the other qualities totally make up for that. The traditional rad system consists of a grigri, a hand ascender, and a foot loop. Learning how to use this system is quick and easy. I always recommend that you use a grigri, but a cheaper alternative to the hand ascender is a wild country rope man. It's also quite a bit lighter too. You can even use a prussic cord and tie it in a climb heist or prussic knot and use that instead of an ascender as well. When you can't ascend any further because you've reached your tie-in point, it's time to pull out your lanyard. If you're using a lightweight rock climbing harness like this, I like to keep it simple and just use a 15 foot length of climbing rope to make your lanyard. Tie a rappel ring on one end, toss it up over the branch, pass the other end through the rappel ring, make a noose around the branch, tie a figure eight, eight or overhand on a bite, and then use a locking carabiner to clip yourself in. Now you're tied safely to the tree so that you can advance your tie-in point. If you own a traditional tree climbing harness with lanyard attachment points, you have way more options for using uh, different types of lanyards. A traditional lanyard allows you to quickly attach yourself to the tree and quickly adjust the length of your lanyard as needed. An alternative adjustment system for your lanyard is using a prussic cord and a pulley. When you pull your lanyard, the pulley adjusts the prussic cord, and then when you weight your harness, the prussic cord bites off. So after you ascend up to your main tie-in point and you anchor yourself in with your lanyard, you can now remove yourself from your main climbing line. After you remove yourself from your main climbing line, you're gonna have to untie your tie-in point. But first, tie your rope and clip it off to your harness so that you don't accidentally drop it and get stuck in a tree. Once your rope is tied off on your harness, you can re remove your tie-in point so that you can toss it higher. When I'm advancing my rope in the tree, I usually just tie a throw bag to the head end of my rope and just toss it up. Just keep repeating that process until you reach the top of the tree. A very important knot to know for tree climbing is the 
Munter hitch. If you happen to drop your belay device or just need to rappel out of the tree using only a locking carabiner, you can use the Munter hitch to control your descent. Have fun, goodbye, and be safe. You've essentially made a noose that cinches around the branch. And now you can climb the tail end because the head end is anchored. To take it down, just pull on your throw line that you left attached to the head end. Building an anchor for your portal edge or hammock is super easy. And you fall off the branch, you do a huge pendulum and slam into the tree. I usually just repurpose my lanyard, just simply use a rope man as a progress capture. 